Well, Charlie, it's your turn to work today. You in a good mood? Mm -hmm. Get a good night's sleep. This will be an easy day for you, Charlie. Got good conditions out there. I got into this business around 13 years ago. I was always interested in driving horses. It's been in my family for many years, uh, working with horses. Ended up buying a small horse, and the horse taught me most of my driving experiences. He was a lot smarter than I was about it. I did take some classes with people, and actually got into it more and more, and then finally got to a point where I felt very comfortable and thought it might be a good way to make some extra money in the wintertime. I ended up working with a local company here in Stowe for the first winter and then decided maybe I might do this on my own and this would be the location that would work out the best. No one else was doing it there, so I decided to try it. Back up, Charlie. Back. Come on back. Got it? Yep. Charlie was the first driving horse that I uh, got for the business. Very rambunctious, a little too much for what we're trying to do with the business. So I ended up selling him and getting another horse much quieter and much easier to handle. The new Charlie, which is a Belgian draft horse, came out of Ohio, and he deserves the name and has worked the best. Welcome to Charlie Horse. Thank you. You're welcome. We look for a good attitude in a horse, one that's quiet, one that's peppy, I've had the same horses for several years. Charlie, I think, has been doing rides for around nine or 10 years now, and Chief has also been here for at least that time. I haven't had to replace too many horses. It's been a good thing. We don't work them to that point. Come on, Charlie, let's go. I can remember one time when I was probably six or five years old, I forget, where we went to my grandmother's for Thanksgiving and there was a situation where the road was not plowed and they came and got us with a big sleigh and a pair of horses and that was kind of interesting. So it's kind of been in my background. Come on, Charlie, let's go. <laughs> this brook's called the West Branch, heads into the village, hangs a right <laughs> and goes south. Come on, Charlie. They used to grade or groom the roads for the sleighs to travel on. And, uh, back in the days when sleighs were quite popular to use for transportation. Sleighs and horses were used as transportation even as late as the late 30s up to the 40s in certain areas. I think a lot of people don't realize what people had to go through to get from one area to another with a horse and a sleigh and we try to educate them on what it was like in those days and that you just didn't turn the key and go in certain conditions you could in certain conditions you couldn't you know why they had bells on their sleighs it's a warning device like we didn't have they didn't have car horns so they had a bell also scared away predators from the horses you take a really dark dark night with hardly any visibility you could, you could hear another sleigh coming in an area where there was only room for one to pass. <laughs> Come on there, Charlie. This is my kind of day to drive. It's not too cold, not getting soaking wet from those big flakes of wet snow. It's not windy. Not windy, no. It's beautiful. We're just giving a little history and flavor of what it was like. And a lot of people just dream of this whole idea of taking a sleigh ride. And they come from all over the world here. So it's been a real fun treat for us to entertain people and give them that experience. And it's really nice to see them come back. Year after year, we'll get the same people that come back for this annual event, their once a year sleigh ride. Now, you know why they built covered bridges? No. There are a couple of different reasons. One, as you look at it, it looks like a barn. Yeah. As you come into it, that kept the horses from shying away from areas that, that they had to go over. Oh, really? The more enclosed they were, uh, the higher up off the, the water. And they were also built to keep the bridges from rotting. Every day is a new experience, it seems like. The weather's different most of the time, each day, like today. Uh, from yesterday. I mean, yesterday was a bright, clear, cold day. Today it's snowing like crazy. So each day is different. I can't get bored with it. 
So you folks are from Virginia? Yeah. Whereabouts in Virginia? Arlington. Arlington. This is your first time here? Well, welcome. Our day starts at eight in the morning and generally stops about eight or nine at night, depending on the, if it's a holiday or not. And it's seven days a week until spring. And we start usually at Thanksgiving or as soon as we get snow on the ground. And there'll be days when you won't open. So you, you do generally get a day off in between. Like the past week, we've had at least four days off in a row because it's been too cold. And I won't work the horses in extreme cold temperatures. What a beautiful day. This is what everybody, this, one of the reasons we're so busy today is because people have this idea a sleigh ride should be done when it's snowing, and it's snowing. I definitely look forward to seeing them in the morning. I mean, I think they look forward to me too. Uh, it's feeding time, of course, and they're just like a large dog to me. They just have that attitude, you're the boss, although I treat them like they're the boss because they're the ones I work for. Good boy, Charlie. Come around. I love my job. I think it's a great job. Uh, a lot of days I'd like to quit when the weather's not cooperating or certain elements are not there to make it, you know, an enjoyable day. But I do enjoy it and hopefully we'll keep going. As long as there's this attitude, we gotta have a sleigh ride.